82,000. I know. On top of whatever the confiscation order decided me to pay back. I know. Tim must have nearly fallen off his chair. How did they expect us to pay that back? Oh, Mum, I don't know. And do you know what? They don't even care, the solicitors. If anyone can meet you, pay your bill, it's them. What did Tim say? Not much. Listen, don't worry about it. We'll sort it out. There's something you're not telling me. No, there's not. Sophie, I know you too well. You're keeping something from me. And if you're going to sit here and lie to my face, you might as well go, because I'm missing conversational Spanish for this. OK, listen. Tim, at the minute, he's... He's down, Mum. He's depressed. He's depressed? Do you know, I still can't believe he thought there was anything between me and Duncan. He knows me better than that. Look, I don't know what he thinks, Mum. He's just pretty hacked off, as all. Well, so am I. Poor Favo Idiota. Mm. Another thing that Paula did mention was she wasn't too sure there was any grounds for an appeal. Not without any new evidence, no. What you already know? Sophie, if there's one thing about prison, it's that you've got bags of time on your hands. I've been reading up about it. Besides which, most of the girls in here have got more experience of the law than half the solicitors out there. I don't, I don't understand. I thought we were banking on an appeal. <sighs> Forget an appeal. It's this legal bill we need to sort out. Uh, when I spoke to Tim this morning, I did float the idea of him maybe selling his half of the cab firm. And what did he say? Oh, he obviously wasn't best pleased. I can imagine. Did he say point blank that he wouldn't consider selling up? Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> did I bought him that business? I know you did, not Do you know, you think you know someone. What am I talking about? It's not someone. It's my husband. Listen, we will sort this. He does realise he's my husband, doesn't he? I mean, he might like to bury his head in the sand, but if it affects me, it affects him. I mean, why if we lose the house? What? They can do that? They can, and they will. And with me in here, there's not a blessed thing I can do about it. Tim's been telling me about this legal bill. If she thinks I'm selling my half for street cars, then she must be daft. She bought you that business in the first place. What's that? She wants me to give it back, does she? You do know if my mum doesn't pay that bill, then they're going to come after the house. That's what my mum said. Because it's the only asset that you two both own, apart from street cars. All right, so she's seriously willing to make us homeless just so that she can pay those rotten solicitors, is she? What other choice does she have? OK, that's great. Yeah, you got the address, haven't you? Good. OK, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye. Tim, please, can we just sit down and talk like grown-ups? <sighs> and how do grown-ups talk, so for by threatening to take someone's house from under them? I just need to know what the options are. Tim, it's not fair you being like this with me. Go and see my mum. I know you're mad at her. Go and talk to her. Sort it out between yourselves. I'm sick of talking, Sophie. Where does that get you? We need to talk to Paula. We need to come up with some kind of payment plan. We can't be the only client she's got that can't afford the bill. Well, if she's as hopeless as she was during Sally's case, then I'm sure that most of her clients have trouble paying her, mainly because they're all banged up. OK, how about I'll ring her now, eh? And I'll plan to meet up. No need. That was the estate agent. They're going to come round and give it a valuation tomorrow. What? Well, if your mum wants to turf us out, we might as well get on with it, and we get shot of it ASAP so we can all move on. But, Tim, this isn't your house to sell. I think you'll find that we're married, remember? What's hers is mine and vice versa and Utu or whatever the legal expression is. Where are you going? Out to get drunk. 